Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today for the 7th Alliance War of Season 21 against REBF. So today we have 10 fights bringing Doom, Magneto and also Magic. So this first fight is against a Mole Man, he has Ebb and Flow Knockdown and this is a pretty rough fight overall. So the plan is basically to block the middle part of the special one so that Stubborn isn't on and we can punish afterwards. But as you're going to see, stuff does not go right in this fight. So for this special one, I go for the parry and I'm too late, get hit, get shot. And then I run into his block, obviously he goes unstoppable, combos me and now I'm down to 40%. So here I'm going to go for special 2, try and dump the power and also get the protection down. I'm going to keep blocking the special ones and just try to minimise damage taken through this fight. So what I should be doing is basically cycling the special ones, but at this point I'm not thinking straight and decide to go for a special 3. Now the special 3 is bugged and it actually doesn't knock down the protection like the other two specials do. So as you're going to see this special 3 does very little damage overall. So luckily I don't have suicides on for this fight so I can safely cycle the special 1 without recoil. So special one knocks out the protection and also applies a bit of a bleed to him to get a bit of extra damage. So now Mole Man has gone into frenzy mode so that means he isn't going to shrug off any of my debuffs anymore. Perfectly timed special one knocks down protection right as it comes back up. And one more special one or just another combo will finish this fight off. So that was much rougher than it should have been. Much easy, should have been a much easier fight than I made it there. So now we've got Nick Fury on node 11 and again this should be a really easy fight but something's going to go wrong and that's actually related to me not running suicides in this matchup. So we're going for the standard build up to the special 3, try and get the 5 permanent prowess buffs and then I basically want to knock out protection, get him into his second phase and then immediately special 3. And what that will do is heal block him because of the magic synergy and also bring him down to 1% health. So now he's getting low, so ideally I want to knock out protection with a heavy, then land a combo, and then special 3 when he goes into the second phase. So I probably should have waited a bit on that heavy so that protection was down for longer when he went into the second phase. So now here's the issue, I landed an extra hit and he's at 46%. And this special 3 actually doesn't take him down to 1%. And because protection is coming back so soon, the bleeds don't the bleeds get purified quite early on. So I now need to do this ten percent. Luckily I'm thinking straight and go for the heavy attack, cues the unstoppable and it kills him. But again, just unnecessary risk in that fight, which should have been really easy overall. So 
after this next matchup is against a heavy hitter and power alternator Annihilus, and Annihilus with Doom on pretty much any node is an easy fight. So he's still got the long distance relationship link up, which is basically going to give us some free willpower healing. I'm also running Max Mystic Dispersion here, so the special one's going to give us a lot of power when he has Furies active. Basically just going to be cycling specials until he goes down. So I'm using some special ones in from the distance just to get a bit, bit of extra damage in and to nullify all of his buffs. But yeah, finish on a full yellow bar, so pretty basic fight there. So this next fight is against a Doctor Doom on Encroaching Stun and also Power Reserve and this fight is extremely fun with magic. So I was a lot more concerned about this fight than I needed to be going in. I could have done this without such heavy boosts. Probably just a group of lesser boosts and also that advanced power boost isn't needed. So the interaction here is power reserve means my specials only cost one bar of power and then also magic's power steal can mean that the special 2 pretty much doesn't cost any power overall. So the only real concern here is that magic has really quick specials so I need to time them in well with encroaching stun. But as you can see I'm just spamming special 2 after special 2 here. Limbo's mitigating a lot of the block damage from doom. So I'm just going to hold back until the encroaching stun timer is nearly over here, slow down the combo, make sure it all times in right. And now here we're pretty much just doing special 2 after special 2, barely costing any power overall. Overall, I believe this fight had 12 special twos in 100,000 health, so very, very, very fun fight there. So these next two fights both have the buff imbalance weakness node, which means whenever the defender gets a buff, I get a weakness debuff until I use a special attack. And they also have heal blocks, so I'm not going to get free willpower from these. But overall, these are both just diversity nodes and Doctor Doom handles them really well. So the only real concern here is that I need to make sure that Medusa isn't at special 3 and Mystic Dispersion pushes me to a special 2 before I can use a special 1, but she's pretty much down at this point. So the Aegon does have the Rich Get Richer node, which basically means the, whoever has the more unique buffs in this matchup will gain a trickle of power. So for the majority of this fight, it's going to be Aegon, because he's going to have a Fury all fight. But as you can see, with 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion, every special one is pretty much giving us a special one back, so we can just cycle specials over and over and over. So now this special one pushes us up to a special three and at this point the fight is pretty much done. So I go for my special one a little bit early there just to make sure I don't get pushed to a special two when he's at three bars. Pushes us to another special three and this will finish him off. So 
So this next fight is a dragon man on kinetic transference and also powerful from afar. So we are going to boost up fairly heavily here because we're taking four fights in one go. So we're going to use magic for this matchup and pretty much once the power lock is on this fight is done. Don't really think this is the best placement for dragon man just because of how easy it is for magic. So as you can see with the power start 1 boost it only takes 2 combos to get to the special 2 and at this point it's pretty much over. So I'm not really going to risk any intercepts in this fight, Dragon Man doesn't really hit too hard into the block and I'd rather just play it safe. With the Mystic Power Back Boost and also the Power Steel, we can pretty much cycle Special 2 similar to how we could in the Doctor Doom matchup. So now we move into the Boss Island where we are taking all three minis on the left side. So the first one is a Vision Arcus on the Rage node, and we're going to use Doctor Doom here. So this is going to be a bit of a longer fight due to the 2.5% damage cap, but basically we're just going to cycle Special Freeze using Mystic Dispersion, and also the Signature Ability Power Gain Steal. So here I'm waiting to get a power gain steel active before I use a special free to make sure that I can get to another special free before he has an opportunity to use his. Because of the 2.5% damage cap the mystic power back boost isn't really going to help much in this matchup. So here I notice that I haven't got a great deal of power gain so I go for the special one just to make sure that I reach my special 3 before he does. Mystic Dispersion obviously helps out quite a lot in reaching the special 3 in this matchup. And yeah this is pretty much it now just going to keep cycling special 3's until he's down. So here we do get a bit unlucky on the power steals, but because of Mystic Dispersion we do still manage to get to another special 3 in time. And this is pretty much it for him now. So this next fight is a Nick Fury on Power Focus 1 and Hurt Locker. And the strategy for this is somewhat similar to the first Nick Fury that we fought in that we basically want to use the second phase bypass ability with Magneto and the heal box energy. Now the main difference here is this Nick Fury has a lot more health so we are going to go for a special 2 just to speed things up. And also the stun duration is actually long enough for us to get the prowess duplication since this person isn't running limber on the Nick Fury. So now we've got the armor break and also the cruelty up which is going to amplify the damage and just speed this up a bit more. So 
So now I just want to land another couple of hits and then use the special three. So this time we actually get the perfect timing. Nick Fury only has 1%. So the main purpose of this special three is to get the heal block. And then once his brief invulnerability ends, the bleeds will finish him off. So that is a much cleaner fight than against the first Nick Fury. So now we're on to the final fight of the war and it's another Vision Arcus. This time he has enhanced power gain and also aspect of evolution. But this fight is basically going to look exactly the same as the first Arcus, just a bit quicker overall. And also, I do still have the Mystic Power Boost active, so the Special 3 is actually going to give me a fair bit of power back when I use it. Of course, there isn't a damage cap on this node, so the Special 3 will deal full damage. So we did end up winning this war, it was a little bit of a mismatch because this alliance is only 41 million in rating and we're around 57 million and they platinum 2, we're platinum 1. So it's not the most even of matchups but take a win when you can and this fight is pretty much over. Thanks for watching everybody and see you in the next video.